Hello everybody, my name is the Jurassic Insider, and welcome to episode 117, oh my god, 217 of Jurassic World Game. In today's episode, we're going to be doing um something, some, some, something, that's, that's, I legitimately walked into this without having a plan. I mean, that happens quite often, but, um, well, we'll come up with something to do. We always have something to do. There's always, like, that one thing, or that one something yeah oh right, right right hold on i have an idea so uh first of all we got giggy let's get giggy out first and then um yeah that's not anything too crazy oh my god we have so many of these when did we get so many of these wow that's like a maxed out that's that is a max out <laughs> wow that's 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 kind of crazy maybe level 30 as well so that's awesome i'm glad we can do that um, as you can see, I accidentally put the Geolasmosaurus in the first incubator because I'm stupid. And I thought it would take, like, I thought because hybrids take less time. I, I thought hybrids took less time than regular creatures. I don't know why. I just did. So I didn't realize that. And now he's stuck there. And, um, yeah, it's wonderful. Just absolutely freaking fantastic. Um, but I guess we can put something here. Uh, no, never mind. We got another Prinosuchus, by the way, which means we can get a level 30, which is awesome. That's not Prinosuchus. That's the other lizard crocodile guy that uh, is also cool, but this guy. So that's awesome. That's a level 30 Prinosuchus, and we don't actually unlock him, so that's amazing that we can do that. I want to see if there's any other coins I missed. I don't think there is. Working on still expanding Isla Sorna a little bit here. Um, there's a lot of land here, so I'm sure we can, um, you know, find good purpose for all of that and uh all things considered um and of course our lovely level 32 rex is here he's uh, always been here i guess since last episode um and we're pretty close on maxing out that guy which is exciting so we should see that episode coming up as soon as possible as soon as i can get the other two rexes out i will i got some of the season pass missions going on season pass has been going great we're almost we're almost at the first, um, Rexy. We're at 5,500, right? Yeah, Rex's pack is right there. Um, wait, what? Oh, oh, okay, okay, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Oh, my God, okay. I was like, do not, at 70, I, I thought, I, I thought, if, like, for a second that at 72, or uh, 7250 points, you didn't get Rexy anymore, but I was looking at the regular one and not the premium one, and we'll get the premium one this time. Definitely not super premium, though. This time, the super premium is worse. Like, the last three, all you get is a Dilophosaurus and a Parasaurolophus and some Buck. Like, what? And then you get some extra packs, and that's literally it. L what's the point of getting it? Like, I mean, a tiny Wish Pack is probably the best thing you'll get out of it, so I don't understand what the appeal of the getting the Grand Premium Bundle this time around is. Uh, but we will get a Parasaurolophus, so that's fun. And Rexy's Visitor Center. Wow, that's new. We get, like, the Jurassic Park Visitor Center. It's really small for some reason. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I think battles reset today. Oh, we got Caprasuchus and Eudoraptor. Two Earth-Shattered events, which is awesome. Um, unfortunately, we don't, we can't do either of these because we've already done them. I mean, we can if we wanted to. I mean, this looks really easy. This looks really easy. But I'm definitely not going to do the Eudoraptor one because why would I want one Eudoraptor? Maybe the Caprasuchus will be nice. A, ni a nice free Capro and then 200 bucks. Doesn't sound bad. Um, on the tides, just just normal stuff, nothing crazy. I like doing these ones because they're free. Um, and oh, and the Gyrospear battles out today. We are definitely going to do that. The Raptor Squad uh, Gyrospear battle. It's a small. It's a little. It's a small battle. It doesn't have a lot to it. But you do get uh, some of these uh, Raptor statues, which is or at least one of them, which is pretty awesome. Hopefully, we can get that uh, blue statue. That'd be pretty cool. I love that, and it's, it's just a simple one. Two hundred bucks isn't that much. I remember back in the day, back in my day, where it used to be super expensive. Like I, it was the same price, but two hundred fifty bucks used to be a lot for me back um, whenever I had like 300, 400 bucks. So I would spend, uh, I would save up just to do the Gyro Spirit Tours because I thought they were the coolest things in the world. And we've only done like, what, two? We've done one, actually. We did the Aquatic Tour and we never even did the Cenozoic Tour. So that's crazy. So today's episode, I like to um, look at a few things because recently in the park, I've been hatching a lot of stuff and I feel like I just haven't really talked about it. So today is just that kind of a day and I just feel like we should go to do that. On this very gloomy Monday morning, I guess it's Tuesday for you guys now, but where I am in um, northern South Carolina, where it always rains for whatever reason, um, we're getting some uh, very, very uh, poor, depressing rain. Um, it, it sucks, 
just sucks. So the first um subject, I guess, is Draco Rex, which we got this guy from the hard headed season pass, I believe. And man, this guy's awesome. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh my god, I love him. He's awesome. He makes d d um, Draco Ceratops. Wow, I heard that guy's good too. So let's feed this guy up. I hope he's really good, because we do need some of those herbivores, and we actually have two herbivores in this episode that we're going to be checking out. Looks like he got that nice health ratio. 726, 227. I was hoping for a little bit more of an attack guy with the herbivore stuff, because we already have Ankylodocus, who just has, like, an insane amount of health and, like, no attack whatsoever. But, you know what? This guy's okay, too. Um, and his coin production is good, I guess. I don't know why I pointed that out. I never point out coin production. But it's cool that we got him. He's another tournament creature, and a lot of the tournament creatures we begin, we've been getting recently are carnivores, and I believe we don't have a single tournament or maybe maybe we do i don't know a uh, tournament herbivore so let's find a battle that we can use anything in uh none of those oh shoot hold on oh yeah battle stage right so oh and by the way all the carnivores are gone because i did that um what is it i did i did the the more teeth battle and it only had carnivores so all my carnivores are gone like literally the top carnivores are all dead now we do have bumpy she's a herbivore tech or er, a tournament herbivore technically she is at level 20 though um but then after that uh we got top and dactylus i guess trudon oh and we have sonorosaurus and megalosaurus dracorex seems to be a little bit worse than sonorosaurus actually which to me in this situation, when both of their healths are pretty high, I think I might take Dracorex's attack. It's very situational, but I do like his attack a lot more. And he does act, he is actually almost as strong as Megalosaurus. Um, although Megalosaurus is definitely stronger, you can tell. Though. Sonorosaurus is weird. I don't know why they put him so high. I mean, normally the game favors attack over health because, you know, there's less attack per creature with health. That made no sense, but it made sense in my head, so it's fine. Um... And I believe it's... Oh, no, Acanthostag is obviously our weakest tournament creature. It's probably the weakest one altogether. <laughs> it's not very good. Um, oh, my God, these are bad. Um, no. Oh, that's good. Um, oh, I don't know. Do we need the Pelican? Do we... How many do we have? I think we have exactly eight. No, we have exactly ten. You know what? Th that 127, I feel like... I, or 187, I feel like I can get back. So I'm going to get it anyways because that's a hard guy to get. Um... I think we did all the daily. Oh, we got one more mission we got to do, but I will we'll figure that one out. Um, we'll probably end up doing it in this episode, especially since we already maxed out, or not maxed out. We got this Draco Rex up, and he looks lovely. He looks just like the Stinky Moloch. I remember having a Stinky Moloch. He's not in this account anymore, though. Um, but this guy is still awesome. Love him. It's cool. I'm never, probably never going to think about him again because we don't. We didn't really get him from anything crazy. We just got him from the season pass. But uh, it's cool that we have him. And um, yeah, he'll be fun. We'll probably use him eventually. But here is Pachyrhinosaurus as well. This one is the one I'm excited for. Because this guy makes the Pachygalosaurus, which is a hybrid we have. So now we have Pachygalosaurus, Megalosaurus, and the, in my opinion, the best creature in the game is uh, the Pachygalosaurus. I mean, Indoraptor Gen 2 is objectively better, but I don't care literally do not care oh and there we go mission nice yeah and he's so beautiful she's so like tiny I, oh my god i love her oh and i don't know he just looks cool i like the frill at the front it's it's like smaller it's it, it feels unique it doesn't feel like a another um it's and it's it's small it's just cool to see a gentle majestic creature like so um, and now we can get the dumb pack that occasionally gives you something good. Oh, we got a Diplodocus. I guess that's okay. We're trying to get another max out Diplo anyways. So that's wonderful. That's, that's, that's pretty good, I guess. Um, and then I guess that means let's do this thing. And, uh, yeah. So, oh, it's Spino. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, and after this, I guess this just means that, uh, we'll check out the final tournament creature for today, which just came from the most recent season pass, and you probably started in the incubation, uh, a couple minutes ago, but that is the Panthera. I, Panthera is, um, if you don't know, is, I guess it's just the name of one of the Atrociraptors from, uh, Dominion. Uh, Ghost is the another one, but we never got Ghost. I'm pretty sure he came in a season pass, but we didn't get him because we're, I'm just bad, um, 
But hopefully this guy's cool too. I think Ghost will be a little bit better though, and I think he looks way cooler. Ghost is genuinely I, I thought that was one of the coolest designs. I mean the white is such a bold color to put on a dinosaur, but it looks amazing. And I love the uh, model. I, I should have got it, honestly. I really should have, but I was I didn't care enough to get it. So uh, yeah, that was definitely my fault, but you know, it is what it is. Um and um uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and get him out. And uh, we'll have a free incubator now. We can put it in another tournament creature, whatever that to, uh, or to be. So there we go. There's that Panthera. Oh, he looks pretty cool. He's actually a decently decent. I mean, I don't know. He looks like a health. He looks a, a little bit more like a health guy, which is surprising for a carnivore. But we can plop this guy down. I'll just put him right here for now because, you know, why not? And there we go. He's another one of these uh, special characters, quote unquote, because he has the white um, background or portrait, just like... Um, What's his name? You know his name. Oh, no, I need to see that. That I need the thumbnail. Thumbnail of this video. Um, uh, Bumpy, yeah. Wow, he does not look like he does in the movie. In the movie, he's like orange. This is like brown almost. What is going on? He looks like burnt toast. That's, oh, connection to the game server lost. Please check your internet connection. My internet does suck, so I'm not not surprised. It might not load in. Um, it's probably because of this dumb rainy Monday morning. I hate it. I hate. I hate every. I just don't like it. I hate rain. Oh my god, it's never gonna load, is it? I know it isn't. Okay, just give me like a few minutes and I'll get this sorted out. Hopefully, probably, probably, hopefully, maybe, maybe. Oh my dear god, okay, so I thought it was my fault, I thought it was my internet, so I, I just left the game, and I tried joining like so many times, and then I just eventually gave up, and I was like, this is probably just my internet, I should just try later, and then I got a notification, <laughs> oh, okay, it happened again, but that time it was my fault, I accidentally clicked the home button, uh, but uh, yeah, um, what 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 is it, right, so uh, Jurassic World game gave me a notification, it was like, oh yeah, sure, for the convenience, and then they gave me two thousand five hundred loyalty points for it i swear to god they just keep giving me stuff it's awesome I'm so I'm, I'm i'm actually glad that it stopped working because that was totally worth it i mean we have a lot of loyalty points either way but you know it's it's still awesome I'm still glad we got it and we're gonna trade some of those right now because we need buck more than anything because buck i like that money um so yeah that's that's it uh yeah game is working so let's go on with what we're doing which was uh leveling up this panthera which does not have a hybrid yet. Um, we already checked him out though. So uh, let's uh, l eat him. Not eat him. We already f we already fed him, right? Oh yeah, yeah, we did feed him, right? So I think it might have like. Sometimes it does this whenever, like, the game crashes or something. Like, it goes back in time. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Honestly, at this point, I think all that I... I should just probably start playing this on something else except, like, an iPhone SE. Um, but I don't know. I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't know what else I've played on. Um... Because I'm broke and I can't buy a PC. Uh, but, yeah, that's it. It's wonderful. Yeah, he's awesome. So, uh, 726 health and 256 attack. I think, already, I think we already saw that. So, he's honestly pretty good. I think he's all pretty good, all things considered. He's small, though. Like, right? He's small, right? I, I think the model is small. Because if you look the, at the Velociraptor... Yeah, see, the Velociraptor looks bigger. It doesn't... or Either that or it doesn't zoom you out as much. I don't know what it is. I don't really care, honestly. But uh, what all that matters right now is that uh, we got a Panthera. So let's see how good he is. I think he's all right, honestly, because he seems like he'd be good. Uh, we'll do Jurassic. So he's going to be... Oh, he's not the best. Okay, but he is um, the third best tournament creature, level 10 we have. Still below top on Dactylus and Trudon. And yeah, as far as carnivores go, he does seem to be a little bit worse than Trudon, but... Uh, he does have a lot more attack, sorry, health, and, uh, Trudon advantages in about 40 health, or uh, 40 attacks, so, again, there, I would definitely take Trudon over Panthera, but he's not too bad, he's not too bad, is he? Um, I, I think he's pretty good, again, all things considered, he's pretty alright, um, so we can line him up and see where we can find him useful, we do have this battle stage, um, oh my god, I dropped my phone, okay, um, let's see this looks yeah this looks like we can use him here for something um this is an easy battle anyways i mean battle stages are at this point haven't became too hard yet uh no that's dumb um we have a pride of we'll put that in 
and then um uh, uh, but we can do this i guess and then um uh god okay uh panthera yeah there we go i think that should do it um uh, maybe we'll we'll see it'll be fine um uh, and yeah i'm excited because he looks cool he looks he looks pretty cool but i don't know it's not my favorite one in the world and i honestly it's not memorable enough because I, I don't even remember them pointing out his name ghost i knew his name because um it was in like the um, marketing and stuff but this guy I, I didn't i straight up didn't even know he existed i just thought i mean and also there's multiple of them right there's four trash raptors i believe one of them is ghost and the other three look exactly the same they just look like how this guy looks so i'm utterly confused what is going on it's kind of bonkers but it's, it's fine oh i'm de dead here oh no don't don't kill me please i'm i will be, I, i'll give you um um food um no no oh we're dead okay he did not listen to me oh this is just fantastic oh wow okay um yay so we're we're probably in a bad situation but you know it's all right it's all right there we go there's a panthera he's got some decent attack and he can take this you uh, uh unisaurus out with three and we'll go um oh he's gonna need it here he's gonna need it here i'm gonna go for a risk and just go for three reserves because either way i think if he does go for attack he can destroy me so i'm not even yeah he has so much attack oh god oh maybe he could have gone some from some blocks and could have survived this but i think he's gonna go for four. Oh, thank god thank god Okay, I don't want to risk this guy anymore. Let's move into the Demephodon, because at least then he's probably going to switch to Offkadodon, whatever his name is. Uh, Offkadon. Yeah, we call him Offkadon. It's not Offkadon. I, I can't pronounce half of these. I mean, I, I could if I wanted to, but then again, why would I? Oh, he goes for it, and that can't kill me, right? What? That is insanity. That is insanity. What? How did he kill me? He, that's not how math works. What in halibans just happened? I'm not even sure that's a word. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. So we got to go for the two blocks here, right? Yeah, we have to. Ah, yikes. Okay, yikes. Um, I He might even be able to kill me, too. I don't even know. Probably not. I, I would I would hope not. Oh, God. Oh, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Uh, he doesn't have any health at all. Which is something. Oh, oh, okay, that was probably the good move. Good move, because he could have blocked what I had. Go for it, six. Six is an attacking number. Okay, I hope six can't kill me. If it can't... Oh, that was close. Okay, for a genuine second there, I thought I was dead. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, that was closer than I thought. It was not supposed to be that close, but it ended up being that way. All right. But there we go. Panthera won the battle, too, which is awesome. Awesome. Yep, he's just, he's just a raptor. It's just a raptor. No, it's nothing great. I'm surprised they didn't just add a regular atrocious raptor. Why, do, why wouldn't they do that? Oh, that's a lot of DNA. Holy crap. Wow. That's that's pretty good. That's like more DNA than you get in a Earth Shattering. We need to do more battle stages because I didn't. I forgot like that you can get a ton of DNA from them. And we need to start unlocking some legendaries because it's about goddamn time. Um, let's see. Oh, Tyrannodon's next. Awesome. Oh, looks like that will be a fun battle, too. So, uh, maybe we'll just have a battle stage episode, catching up on some battle stages, because we still got a couple more that we can do. But, unfortunately, I think that's all the time I got for this episode of Jurassic World game. It probably ended up being really long because of the whole thing with the game crashing or whatever. But, I will see you all in the next one. This is Jurassic Insider, signing out. See you later.